Hey guys, it's Cam Kane. Welcome back to the next round of the 64 team tournament in NCAA football. We will be kicking off the round of 32 in the South region with LSU versus Washington State. LSU coming off a big win over Louisiana Tech and Washington State coming off a win over Miami of Ohio. We pick it up here in the first with Joe Burrow leading this LSU offensive attack here late in the first. Still a 0-0 game. Joe Burrow is going to get it down inside the five-yard line. So they're going to have a first and goal here at the end of the first right here. So to start the second, they switch sides. And they do hand it off to the backup running back, John Emery Jr. And he is going to get in for a one-yard touchdown run. But Washington State, next drive, they have a deep pass down the field. It is complete, and he is going to break a tackle. And he, he could go all the way. Two scores quick into the second quarter. And LSU starting in their own end zone here in the fourth, and they have a deep pass out over the middle. That's going to get a first down as they are down eight here late in the fourth. Joe Burrow with two interceptions on the day, but finds that pass there. Joe Burrow drops back to pass again, finds a man, E. Hilaire down the sideline. He is going to break a couple tackles and get the first down. So LSU are driving here, trying to tie this ball game up. And another big run there from E. Hilaire. As Joe Burrow drops back to pass again, finds his fullback. And that is going to be a first down through Tory Carter. He finds his man over the middle. He's going to get down inside the five. So LSU are driving the field right here. Very good drive they're putting together right here. As Joe Burrow fakes to the fullback, pitch to the running back, and E. Hilaire is going to get in the end zone. But they do need the two point conversion to tie this ball game up. And he gets the pitch to E. Hilaire on the option, and he does get into the end zone, so the two-point conversion is successful. And here comes Anthony Gordon back out to the field, already 420 yards on the day. Can he lead another drive down the field? He is going to be sacked for nine yards right here. in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. Quick pass, and he's taken down. So they do not convert there. So Washington State have to punt it away. They give it to LSU, and LSU get a first down right here. This is a quarterback who trusts his. Under a minute left in the game. Thirty seconds left in this game. They're kind of wasting clock to kick a field goal, but Elair does get in the end zone. Washington State kind of let him there, so they would have a chance. LSU were trying to waste the clock. We'll have one last shot here to possibly tie this game up. They'll so Anthony Gordon drops back to pass. He's going to give it one last win. heave at the end. It and it is up and it is going to fall incomplete. So it, LSU incomplete. are going to take this one 41 34. Score in this one, LSU 41, Washington State 34. E. Hilaire with the player of the game, 153 yards on the ground, two touchdowns. And LSU just barely getting by Washington State, 41-34. Three turnovers on the day, but 300 rushing yards on the day helps them come back and win this game against Washington State. We do pick it up in the next game, though. A surprise matchup of FSU versus Wake Forest in the Texas Bowl. 12 versus 13, both pulling off the upsets in the first game.
And welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. Cam Akers is going to take the run up the middle right here and truck stick two players. There goes one, and there goes another. As he takes another big run down to the two-yard line. So on the edge of the end zone right here, Florida State, first and goal. The fake to Cam Akers, and James Blackman's going to get in the end zone. Touchdown, FSU! So Florida State are now up by two scores. Really good vision here by the quarterback and a good understanding of where he was on the field. Jesus Christ. He makes it to the 28-yard line. They give to the tailback. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Finds his tight end down the sideline. And a quick throw. Touchdown, Demon Deacon. Down the sideline for a deep touchdown. So now they're down seven. But a Florida State can seal it on a first down. And Blackman takes off. And he's going to slide short. So it's fourth and two right here. But they can seal it with the field goal, the and it is and good. good. So FSU are going to walk away at this one. Tally in this one. 30, 20, FSU. 30 to 20, James Blackman, player of the game, 177 yards through the air, two total touchdowns. Florida State rushing attack just helping them nearly squeak out a victory against Wake Forest. So that will set up an LSU-FSU Birmingham Bowl in the Sweet 16. But that moves us on to Miami versus Auburn in the Camping World Bowl. And welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. We picked this one up late in the fourth as well. Miami leading by three points. Bo Nix drops back to pass. Tries to take off on the screen pass, which is not very smart, so he's going to be sacked for a 10-yard loss. Shaq Quarterman getting the sack there, and the field goal is good to tie the game, so four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Miami driving the field, handoff here up the middle, and they are going to get a first down inside the 20. Cameron the Harris with the big run. Now he tries to buy some time, and he tackles him hard at the Jaren 18. Williams tries to scramble, but is sacked. He's gonna try and scramble. But he does get a big scramble on this one for 10 yards, but, but does forward. end up getting hurt. And he didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. They're about four yards away here on third down. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. So the backup comes in. He takes off as well, and he's going to get into the end zone. And Kosey Perry with a nine-yard touchdown run right up the middle. Didn't leave a spy, and they get burnt there. So Bo Nix here on third and eight. Drops back to pass and takes a big sack in the backfield. But they use all three of their timeouts, get the ball back. Bo Nix finds a man down the sideline, so a minute 20 to go, and they just got inside the 50. Bo Nix over the middle, and that's another first down. So Auburn are driving back to Ellie Stove once again. Third and ten, screen pass to the running back, and he's only going to break one tackle, not going to get much on that, so it's going to be a fourth and ten with 55 seconds left right here. Bo Nix drops back to pass, looking for an option, and that's going to fall incomplete. 
and that's gonna do it. So Miami's gonna take it over Auburn, 27-20, as Auburn dom dominate yardage, first downs wise, and time of possession, but still just come up just short. Now we move on to the Big 12 matchup of Oklahoma State and Baylor. And welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. He lets it fly. The senior makes the catch. He's tackled with the third. He's at the 20. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. Quarterback does go down hurt here, so the backup is going to try and finish this drive off for him. And he does find a man in the back of the end zone for a touchdown, so a great drive right there, and the freshman quarterback comes in and gets a touchdown. I'll have to wait and see if Brewer can come back into this game. Oklahoma State go deep down the field and find a man. Dylan Stoner, 54 yards as they get into the red zone. And then Spencer Sanders is going to get into the end zone. So both teams driving down the field quick. This might be a shootout here. Late in the fourth, it is a 34-31 game. Baylor, a score could put them up by two scores here. They go deep down the field, and they do have a man. Almost getting inside the red zone. They are second and goal right here now. As Brewer is back in the game, it's a halfback draw up the middle, and he is going to get in the end zone. John Lovett, 10-yard touchdown run. As Baylor go up by two scores. Oklahoma State driving the other way quick though and Spencer Sanders is not going to get in the end zone. He's going to fall just a yard short. But the handoff to the running back Chuba Hubbard. He gets stood up at the one as well so it's fourth and goal right here. OK State needs to get into the end zone here. As they hand it off the backup running back comes in LD Brown and he gets into the end zone. So OK State just down three points as they go for the onside kick. And they get the onside kick off the knees of 81 right there. And OK State gets the ball back. So they do have a chance here. Two minutes left with all three timeouts. Third and nine right here, though. Spencer Sanders drops back to pass. And he's not going to get it off, so he is going to get sacked. It's going to be a fourth and 19 right here. They have not elected to use any of their timeouts just in case they don't get it. He has a pass down the sideline, and that's going to be tipped away. But Baylor run out the clock and take this one. So that's going to set up a Miami-Baylor-Alabama Bowl in the Sweet 16. But that is going to do it for this episode. Like always, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss this episode, turn on that notification bell so you can watch the rest of the tournament and you get updates when they are posted. But until next time, thanks for watching.